JC Explores and I am at Anchor Caves. <clears throat> Got to be a little bit careful because there's a whole family having a picnic there. So, but yeah, you see over there is Willington, I think it's Willington Coal Fire Power Station, which is all derelict now. Which is explored that and just come from another location and uh, thought we'll uh, get these in. Uh, take a look inside. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on the way here, I uh, got stuck in a ditch. I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently, so the Christians came and they're persecuted in the 18th century, and it was used as a Quite of church sanctuary for them. So it's all made out of sandstone. All the walls are, and it was all carved out by hand. Although when the river flooded, as you'll see when, when we leave here, I'll show you some other bits where the water's carved out. The uh, Sandstone, you can see. Like you can see all the gravel stones in here. I will put up some more information. How cool is that? <laughs> it's well worth it. <laughs> I got stung to death if it went the wrong way. Uh, yeah, it's well worth the journey to come and uh, have a look at this. So, yeah. The family just down there when the picnics are kind of got to be careful filming the front. But yeah, you can see the stones. And as I go back, you can see the different where the water level's been and carved away. It's really weird because you walk along the river and then all of a sudden it's just bang, it's there. It's just like wow. There's a few other smaller caves back there, and I'll film them on the way back. Gives you a better idea up there, look. You can see the levels where the water's been, where it's carved it out. Can you see that? about the graffiti. There you go. <laughs> Imagine that river must have flooded quite high. <laughs> Pretty calm at the moment though. There. Oh. If you yeah, just Rub your hands out, you can feel the just crumbles. But you can see the, like, the stones all in the, all the lines there. Been on the radar a while this one. But eventually got here. <laughs> so pretty chuffed. I'll put loads more information about the place. Yeah. You can imagine people in the 18th and 17th century uh, avoiding persecution and being Christian and everything. Uh, there's all stuff carved in the stone, but I don't know when that was done, who'd done it or whatever. And obviously the uh, newer ones. Maybe had a little candle there. 
But yeah, I've seen a few other places similar like this, but this is the first one I've uh, got to. Um, so yeah, pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's all black on the roof, maybe because I've had fires in there or what? I don't know. If you can see it better. So there's a little fire pit down there. It's been nice in the summer just to sit here and just like a chill. get to go over to them towers over there. That's worth a, a good explore as well. <coughs> Just don't expect to see anything like this when you come out. So yeah. Hold there. I've took some photographs already. I have a little wonder up here. Let's see if I can film the front of it. I have to be quiet when I go out here because there's a family, so I don't want to disturb them. There you go, Anchor Church. I'm going to take a walk back down this way and uh, <coughs> show you some other little bits. It's quite a nice uh, walk down there. I just don't cross over at the dikes. <laughs> you can see where the it's all sandstone and level of the uh, where the water's come up in various times see the line there so uh, how it juts out yeah it's a shame uh, there's people there i can't film right at the front but that's how it is they're enjoying themselves having their picnic so i'm not going to ask them to no evil disturb them so. <coughs> There's a bit more, you can see, I'll get up here, oh, another level, another level, and then you can see where the riverbank used to sit, that's that, all the, all the stones, if you know your geology, <laughs> which I don't claim that I do, you have a field day here, Wow. It must have come up about 15, 20 foot. And it's cool how all the trees are just like oh, sticking out. It all kicks out at the top there. Well, let's go back down here. <coughs> just some more bits. So you can see the sandstone right at the top. Now the river over the hundreds of years has carved its way down. Look. Wow. Oh. You know, the tree has grown its roots right into the rock. You could probably use a little cave up there. Do I go up there? <laughs> Not as fit as I used to be climbing. Oh. Need a head cam. Isn't going very far. <laughs> no, I ain't going up. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Unless I can get up this way. The stone's a little bit slippery, so there we go. Yep. 
There you go. A little bit easier. Gotta love trees. go I mean well nice sat up here on a summer's evening all of it's nice all this walk see why there's quite a lot of people about when I first got here I probably thought what's he doing <laughs> they see me they're all going a different way and there's me going over barbed wire fences uh, stuck in and sinking in the mud as you can see in the dike. <laughs> I thought about it, they thought he's a right nutter. <laughs> well, on the way down. Whoa. Have a view of that as more as we go around here as well. Some little bits and pieces. Quite a really want to think about I've filmed this back to front. But there's people everywhere, so it's hard to do. Okay, right, down we go. There's some more little bits where it cuts in. Good to see that all graffitied up and not being destroyed and all right there's a bit of graffiti in the other one but it's good to see it's not being sprayed and kind of like bust and destroyed that's cool there's a lot of places you know they get vandalized and everything Uh, <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you've got that tree there with its roots. Just, wow. I love it. Definitely going to come back here in the summer and uh, have a, another mooch. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I think, I don't know why, if I remember, there might be another little bit just to see. There's a peep of this, I'm just going to keep the camera down. Hi. They've gone. I was supposed to go to uh, Farley Down Tunnels, uh, but <laughs> change of plan, so ended up, ended up doing this place and another place. I think, yeah, yeah it's uh, quite a good swap. I'll be there another day, Farley Down, so probably left a little bit too late for that. Another little cave. It's almost like when you're down on the coast and you've got like caves and stuff when you're, you know, you're going around like coves and stuff like that, but obviously it's not. Uh, 
that off. And then again, you can see the different layers, like one layer, two, three. It just carries on all the way up. So let's like, say someone knows what they're doing, they can probably tell when it flooded, what year it flooded. And if it was a dry summer or wet summer or winter. There you go. That's cool. <laughs> Ow. The whole bank's sandstone. Uh, sandstone. Now let's get to this point up here. So we're going to like this. So again, it juts out. Again, I like that tree just growing out of it. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Look, closer look. I don't know what these wood bits were for, I don't know. Look at that. The tree just grows out of that. Wow. Again, and then you've got the, the layers again. I mean, this must have like flooded real bad. Cut that out over years and years and years. Beautiful. Well, there you go. So yeah, two things. Like, this is really nice here. And I've realized how out of shape I am. I'm puffing and panting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anchor, anchor caves, or anchor church as they call it, uh, really good, really pleased the came, a little bit of a detour, but it was definitely worth it, and uh, now I'm going to make my way back, about half a mile up there, back to the car and uh, set back off for home, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Shame I couldn't like, film right at the front of the anchor caves, but like I said, I didn't want to disturb them having their picnic. They were all uh, having fun, but yeah, I got what I needed to get. And uh, yeah, if you get a chance, definitely come down there and take a look at it. It's really nice, really nice and peaceful, and uh, really good. So yeah, it's uh, RJC Explores. Sweating real bad, out of breath. <laughs> uh, make my way back now. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh try and get as many videos up as i can hopefully keep you interested in the different subjects and stuff that i do like i say everything from RF bases to stuff like this <laughs> to other places abandoned buildings and asylums all sorts of stuff anything i can explore i'll try anyway thanks for watching take care and i'll catch you on the flip-flop with the pork chopper mustard take care people bye